Hello everybody, Georgia Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. Or oh, we're going to make a card similar to this. The reason being is I like this card. Um, it's my daughter's birthday, my oldest daughter's birthday coming up soon. And she loves Paris. So I thought I'd make her a card with the Eiffel Tower on. So to make her card I'm going to do it five by seven. So I have a card base here of ten inches by seven inches and I've scored it at five inches and folded it in half. I also have a piece of white card stock at six a six and three quarters by four and three quarters for the inside. For the outside I have a piece of army blue, six and six and a half by four and a half. I have a piece of granite grey at four and three eighths. Alright. That looks like four and a half. Four and a quarter by six and a quarter, and then I have a piece of white cardstock at four and one eighth by six and one eighth, and that will sit on the top there. So we're near enough going to do the same as this, except I'm going to be adding a like stamped board around the edge just to fill it up a little bit. The stamp sets I'm using are for the flowers Forever Blossom and we're just going to use that flower there. Timeless Texture and we're going to use that stamp for around the edge. Um, Yeah, very Vaselli at Vassell's. I'm going to be using the script. For the background, I'm using Crackle Paint. And for the Eiffel Tower, we're just using the dies from the Brizi Br Brizi Parisian Beauty. Could get it out then. And we're just going to cut, well, I have already cut an Eiffel Tower. And my Eiffel Tower I have cut in granite grey already. But what I have done, because I want to put it on dimensionals, I have cut out a backing for it. Oh, I've cut two because I wasn't quite keen on the first one I cut. And I am going to stick that on there, I think. Yeah, just so I can put dimensionals on the back of it. But the reason I haven't stuck it on yet is because I want to stamp like the crackle paint on it and a bit of the backing so it looks like this isn't there. I'll show you what I mean. So first of all we will Oh, and I've got a scrap of white for the flowers. Now, I have already cut, coloured and cut, stamped, coloured and cut the flowers out. I've got them here, but I will do another one. I've got five, I think. But we'll do another one. So, I've also got some white satin ribbon. But what I'm going to do is get a the granite grey blend pen and colour it in. Might as well do that now and then it could be drying. So I'm going to say that much and take that end off. So with my scrap of paper put that on there and I think this is my granite grey pen. 
I'm just going to colour it in. One thing with these blender pens, if you don't have ribbon to match your work, you just colour in what ribbon you've got. Not all ribbons will take a colouring in. This ribbon is satin ribbon. dry nicely nice on there when it's dried. Lay that there. Let it dry off. I'll need that again in a minute. Right, let's get making this card. So, I've got the crackle paint and I've got some granite grey ink. So we're going to stamp it up. And then I'm going to stamp off and then now I know this cardstock is big, bigger than my card but I can just fill that in or oh, this stamp no the cards yeah the cardstock's bigger because when I go around the edges, you won't see them bits. I'll never stamped off. That's fine. Clean. Let's get it out of the way. Being such a big stamp, it's in the way. Right. I've got bits of um, dimensionals on the table. Right. Now with the balmy blue and my paper. my timeless texture stamp all I'm going to do is go around the edge with this just to give it a Army blue and the 
I never got it out. The script. I'm going to stamp off and then stamp it there and stamp it there. Just to give a bit of texture at the back. And I forgot to do this. And I put the stamp away. But that's alright. I'll um, get it out. doing that silly woman right and then with my balmy blue and the script I just put some of that on the back of it there we are get rid of that in the bin and then this will go on the back of that oh that's the wrong side and it'll look like the rest of what's behind there Nice. So I'm actually going to stick this on now. Bit of glue in the bigger spots that you see. There is quite a few, you know, bigger spots that you can actually put a decent blob of glue on. And then we will that on there and I've got a little bit showing that's all right I'll just That's good. All right, for the sentiment, I'm not going to put congratulations across here. What I'm going to do is put punch out a tag with 
to a wonderful daughter. So we're going to stamp that in blue. And granite grey. So I'm going to put to a wonderful daughter. To a wonderful. And then the daughter bit will be in blue. What a funny thing I've put it yeah, I thought I did. Start again. Two near the wonderful. Right. That's better. To a wonderful daughter. And then I'm going to punch that out with a pretty label punch and that is going to sit up there stick a couple of flowers on that. I'm going to actually have the flowers that I did here. I'm just going to have them cascading down, which I haven't done a flower. So, crumb cake. No, not crumb cake. Granite grey. And the flower it's a bit better, it's a bit darker and the light is it light? balmy blue we will just colour that in nothing special I didn't go right to the edge all of it, I just added some colour to the flower that was all I did and then I cut it out And we have another flower. So don't need them, don't need them. Don't need that. I have my other flowers which I will have cascading down there. And my ribbon I'm actually gonna have under the Oh, 
Oof. Yeah, I can picture it. So let's stick all these together. Stick the granite grey on the barley blue. nicer when they're the, all put together like that. Right now we want dimensionals on the back of this tower. off because you can't stick it on with the wax on right I'm going to stick that there why I haven't put happy birthday on it is because I am going to actually stamp happy birthday on the inside now you can't see this looking at that but this is an odd stamp I got I keep it in my timeless textures I've got two odd stamps um, let's stamp it out shall we I don't know where this has come from, but I'm going to stamp it in blue. Happy birthday. So I don't know where that's come from, but I quite like it. So, and that is why I haven't put happy birthday on the outside because it's going to be on the inside. Right, um, the ribbon. I'm going to have that 
up there with that on the top. So what I'm going to do is put some glue there and glue that down. And then I'm going to glue that on the card and put in fact I want to brush this, put some colour around it. Making my mind up as I go along on this card. Just to take the starkness of the white away. That's better. I oh know I've got to clean that, but that's my blue brush anyway. So, let's put that on. And my flowers, which are, well there's one. Yeah. I'm going to stick one there. And that's actually going to get stuck on. And I'm just going to have three undimensionals and then I'm going to stick these lock down. Yeah, I like that. Put little gems in the middle of them flowers. That's nice. All right. Um, See what I've done. I put big gems in them flowers. They're nice. I like them. I hope she likes this. I think there's some up missing. Don't know what. I'm happy with it. And I think Melanie will be as well. Yeah. 
sort of the same. <laughs> I did like this one and I thought I'd try and do it with a... Um, well, what I could do is happy birthday down here. Couldn't I? Let's try that. Um, scrap. And there's a happy birthday in here. So, take daughter off. Um, stamp it in. No, stamp it in blue. Just dip in this in the balmy blue, give it a bit of a border. And we can stick that now oh, it needs to be a different colour. Um, let's try it in Great granny. Dip that. Yeah. Ah, that's better. Should have done it in that colour to start with. So I'm going to stick some small ones on. Yeah, that's better. That's what it was missing. Some on this side to balance it out. I hope you like that. A bit of a card not very well thought out, but we got there in the end. Um, if you do like my cards, please subscribe. And if you'd like to see more of my cards, please press the um, notification bell button and you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say now is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon.